All right, man, Torture Talk, 6 o'clock show. You know what it is, man, 6 o'clock show. All right, so today's episode, we're going to be talking about Jay Butler. we giving his take on what happened with Kendrick and SZA's uh, interview. And uh, this goes right along with the Rory and Maul one. So look, before I get into that, you know I got to get my spill. This is Torture Talk. This is Torture Talk. This is Torture Talk. All right, yeah, let's get it. This is Torture Talk. If you like the content, please consider subscribing. If you're new here, let me work for your subscription today. All the beautiful, sexy ladies, put one in the chat. All the fellas, y'all know where to find the ones at. Just don't harass them. I don't sell no merch, but I do have content absolutely free. But if you want to leave a donation, links on the screen, cash app, PayPal's in the description. They call me the hidden gem. I went from 1,300 subscribers to over 11,000. I should be 12,000 and a million by Monday morning. Let me know where you're from, too. So we're going to get right into the clip. No more talking, man. Let's get to it, man. Let's do it. All right, so let's do it, man. Let's go. It says, can I ask you a hyper-masculine question? You can also tell me to shut the fuck up. What does not like us mean to you? Kendrick, laughing. Not like us. Not like us is the energy of who I am. The type of man I represent. Now, if you identify with the man that I represent, SZA says, break that man down for me. Kendrick says, nice comeback. this man has yeah. morals, he has values. See, that's oppie for me. Because <laughs> you're engaging what you call a, a Oppie as in her question is oppie? It's not because this is her label mate, friend, Frequent mentor, collaborate, yeah, yeah. But you so still, far. but she, she but would, hmm, Joe. break that, break the man down for me is an alley oop. Yes. For what though? No, I think that's an amazing question from an interview. No, alley oop. It could be both. No, no. It could be both. To shit on he the says. Name. It could be both, but he I don't says. see it as an alley oop. Okay, okay. I'm Go just on. talking okay. about how I see it. Okay. <laughs> he says, this man has morals. He has values. He believes in something. He stands on something. He's not pandering. He's a man who can recognize his mistakes and not be afraid to share the mistakes and can dig, dig deep down into fear-based ideologies or experiences to be able to express them without feeling like he's less of a man. If I'm thinking of not like us, I'm thinking of me and whoever identifies with that. Put the spin on that thing. It's a really nice, mm. great mm -hmm. answer. I respect that answer. It's a great answer. Very and, diplomatic. And who's yeah. considered King Pandora? And obscure as shit. Uh, I think it's a great answer. Great answer. And I think it was a great question. Uh, I think that the, the internet is dragging him for this, for this response. Really? Really? Well, some Are they some accusing him of being... Of what are they accusing They're calling him? it the crock of shit and just say the song is about Drake. But those might be the Drake fans. But, oh, but even... He, but he, I mean, does he really have to say that, though? Like, this goes back to the last video. I mean, does he have to say that? Uh, it's like, I feel like some of these people, they feel like he has to say these things. He don't have to say none of that. You know what I'm saying? And it's like a lot of people are so butthurt of what they think he should be saying. It's crazy. Let's keep it going. He I, think, might, I think it was. I think it's I both. Think that See, that's, that was he my might reply. feel like Drake has, is, is this, lacking morals. This, to me, was 100% about Drake, and he slam dunked the alley oop to diss the person he was trying to diss. Exactly. He's just doing it in the Harper Bizarre the way. The subtle way. Right. The same way he used the, the Super Bowl commercial to shoot in a Super Bowl subtle type of way. Like, mm -hmm. he's just going to keep firing. But my thing is, like, let's address the elephant in the room. Drake's been doing this for a long time. Y'all even said that he's sassy. He's a sassy nigga. Y'all been saying that. He's been doing this. Now it's getting done to him. Now I'm not saying y'all complaining about it, but y'all always said that this dude was a sassy nigga. And he got outsmarted. Just, just admit it. Like, and that answer that he gave People could say it's politically correct, whatever, but it's going to keep y'all talking. That's the whole point of him giving that answer. I'm, I'm sure Kendrick knew that him giving that answer, it was going to ruffle some feathers. If he would have said it was all about Drake, this song was about Drake, 
then y'all would have had a problem with that too. Not y'all, but just people in general. I respect it. I think that that was just an amazing answer. Um, classy, yes, even shady. If they, even, Definitely shady. <laughs> classy and shady. Because I feel like Drake is considered. Yo, class is shady. shade. Shade. Oh yeah, yeah. What you think classism is based on? No, no throwing no, shade no, at the no, niggas that's less than you. No, the word. I just meant having class. And you should looking down on niggas that you think don't have none. That's, a, that is, that's, that's the first time I even heard. I don't know about that. I mean, that's a two way street. You can actually say that, but I don't know if if that's a hundred percent like. I guess I guess you could go both ways with that. That's actually a pretty good. That's a pretty good analysis. Well, for some reason, they seem to think that <laughs> oh, you know a, a strong, strapping man who's like a powerhouse in the hip hop, talking about his vulnerability and his ability to cry is a very big moment to share. Okay. It, it's ironic though that the dude that he defeated so soundly in, in, the, in the beef is known for being vulnerable and crying and all that <laughs> shit. Like, it's just, it's just, it's just, Drake, like, Drake got clowned for it. He's getting celebrated for it. Mm-hmm. I just, and I, I'm not a Drake, like, fan at all. Um, but I'm just... I don't know if he's... I guess there's a different way. I, me, personally, I don't think any man should show his vulnerability. I'm just... That's just my personal opinion. Um, but... I don't know. I don't know if if he's getting celebrated for it. I think people just they respect Kendrick's honesty. Drake never said that he does that. Uh, and I never seen Drake say. It. Maybe I'm maybe I missed that interview. I never seen Drake say he's he cries and he's vulnerable. I never see, never seen that. Maybe because he moves like a vulnerable man and he acts like a vulnerable man. But I never seen him actually come out and say that he was vulnerable. Never seen that. So, if somebody got the interview, please point me in that direction. Saying it is interesting. Once you're on top, anything you do is acceptable. Like, like Drake could never get away with an article like that. Mm-hmm. But I'm getting dragged for it. I mean, I'll... Uh, Drake gonna get dragged. Kendrick gonna get dragged. It don't matter. It's not that Drake could get away with an article and can't get away with an article like that. They're both gonna get dragged. That's just how it goes. People gonna drag whatever answer Kendrick had gave. People would drag him for. It doesn't matter. You know what I'm saying? Whatever answer Drake give, people going to drag him for it. That's just how it goes when you're in the industry. You know what I'm saying? Is it right? Mm, but Do I side with Kendrick? Yes. Yeah, you know I mean, that's just what it is. But I'm just being honest. That's Cap. He could, yeah. He, been getting, he, he got a wild ad out right now. I missed it. What's the ad? Oh. Uh, Why is it wild? You saw it? I did Oh, y'all should see it. Should it. Check it. Out. I y'all think I seen it, but y'all should see it first before I say why. You got why. the duck mouth? No, well, <laughs> no, that's something totally different. Yeah. <laughs> Where can we find this ad? On this page. Oh, yeah, go, I don't find yeah, go look at it. But uh, you know what? I looked at this uh, differently than you, Mark. I felt like this is him coming around, having to pander back to the pansies. True. Like I, I, I killed King Pansy <laughs> <laughs> to him. <laughs> I'm not calling him that, mm-hmm. but I killed King Pansy, but I lost some pansies in the process, so I got to come back around and appeal to them, like with all this vulnerable shit. I think that's true mm-hmm. too. I don't know about all that. I disagree. I think Kendrick is. I think Kendrick has always been this way, and he's being who he is. You know what I'm saying? He said that on Mr. Morale. He he said that in in his music. He's been saying this. I don't think he's pandering. Or, coming back around to pander it to anybody. Kendrick's always been open about his emotions and his feelings and how he moves and stuff like that. He's been like that. You know what I'm saying? For, for, for you to sit here and say that he's coming back around to pander to the pansies, the pansies, I don't know about that, Joe. That's that's a reach. But Kendrick's always been vulnerable musically. <laughs> that's oh, true. Niggas, what, what? Yeah. If he dressed like a Mexican? The whole... Yeah, yeah. That one. That one. Oh, I seen that. Oh. Yeah, I seen that. To me, that's just corny, but I don't think it's wild. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Some shit I wouldn't do. Yeah. Yeah, you got it. Y'all, y'all so far removed. It's like, I just don't get it, man. And I know what they're talking about, but 
I don't get the I don't get the how they're so comfortable with just basically defending some of the stuff that Drake does. And then if it was anybody else, it would be such a big problem. But let's keep it going. So you want to do this? Mm. Go right back. Oh, and then, yeah. Sombrero, the whole shit? Oh, yeah. What? Sure. <laughs> Maracas. Maracas. <laughs> what? What? Yeah. Um, Poncho. Yeah, Kendrick, Kendrick has always been vulnerable in his music. Yeah. I don't have really have nothing to say about him and, and SZA. SZA, J. Cole want to be SZA so bad. That, that's what I got. That's what I got from this. Yo, what's wrong with you? J. Cole. You to put that one together before we pause. Well, SZA gets to go make all of the slaps with Drake uh -huh. and be besties with Kendrick. And be this be totally neutral. Uh, True. She's, a, but she's a woman. She's some woman. Yeah, some woman. That's sexist. It's not really. Well, that it is. That is sexist. Right. It's sexist. <laughs> that definitely is sexist. So a woman can so you, you a woman can do all these things, and then y'all won't say that that's sexist. But if a man did it, then it would be it would be. Sex is like that's definitely sex is what you just what they just said. That's crazy. Wait, that is how is it sexist? Because if you're my friend, you're supposed to choose up regardless. The same rules that apply to a man are supposed to mm -hmm. apply to a that's woman. Sex. If yes. we're friends, but double standards apply. That's true. Life, indeed. indeed. Well, well, I mean, I think sexist. Well, I think that the I think that what the root of the conflict is is just kind of rooted in masculinity. So like women kind of get a get you know a pass. Out. Oh, get the fuck. <laughs> It doesn't matter if it's rooted in masculinity, Melissa. It don't matter. You're supposed to choose a side. That's it. That's it. You're supposed to choose a side. Just because you're a female does not mean that you get to play both sides. It doesn't work like that. If you, if you, if you want to be equal, you have to choose a side. That's definitely sexist. What are you talking about? It's rooted in masculinity. What does that have to do with anything? You think uh, men don't choose, I mean, wives don't choose their husbands because if they go to war is rooted in masculinity, they say, no, we got to play both sides. No. Can't do that. Got to, got to, you got to choose a side. Out of it. Well, uh, you're going to find a woman pass in anything, so I ain't about to argue it. <laughs> WNBA <laughs> Liberty. <laughs> yeah, I, I ain't about to argue it. <laughs> All right, so let's end it there. That's almost over. That was a great one. I like that. But it's true. That's true. You 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 have to choose a side. And I think I think SZA is playing both sides. I ain't gonna lie. You have to choose a side. And be just because she a woman doesn't allow her to just maneuver through. You know what I'm saying? Oh, I'm friends with him. I'm friends with him. Maybe that was the mold. Maybe SZA was the mold. Did you ever think of that? Maybe SZA was the mold. <laughs> You know, Drake like the talk. Maybe he was talking to SZA. Maybe SZA's the mole. Who knows? But either way, man, I think that that was a good interview. And uh, it's going to be talked about a lot. And I'm going to be here to cover it all. Trust me. Be here to cover it all. I like to hear, I like to hear different people's perspective about this topic. Because it seems to me like everything Kendrick does is now being highlighted. He dropped a song, highlighted it. He dropped the interview. He wasn't even talk. It wasn't even, it was a written interview. I'm sure they recorded it, but basically the man dropped the interview like a in a news article and it's all over the internet. So either way, man, love you guys. See y'all guys in the morning, man. Y'all have yourself a good night. See y'all. Peace, bye. <laughs>